Hi, this is Romero with Container Garden Club, and today we're talking about beans. Beans are some of the best plants to grow in your container garden. And I absolutely love just the, the, the pure deliciousness of the vegetable. And I think your family will too. So to get started, you want to make a decision as to what type of bean you want to grow. A bush type bean or a pole type bean. For containers, I heavily recommend a bush type bean. Uh, they tend to grow rapidly. Uh, you'll get a really high production. And uh, although you may not get beans throughout the entire summer for, from a given plant, one of the things you can do is to plant at, in three week increments. And that way you'll have a steady stream of, uh, of beans throughout the summer months. So how do, I, how do I actually plant these things? Well, to get started, what you want to do is to again select your bean and a really decent container. I use a city picker because these are self-irrigating systems, uh, but you can use just about any type of container. Um, you can use a, a Rubbermaid uh, a container, you can use a recycling bin, any of those kind of things will work wonderfully for, uh, for beans. They're not really picky or fussy. Uh, what's probably most important is the type of growing medium you use, and I recommend a mix of compost, peat moss, and vermiculite. Uh, this is called Mel's Mix, and it's one of the best mixtures uh, that you can use in a container garden. Uh, it's different from just using uh, potting soil. Potting soil can get compacted and make it really difficult for those roots to take hold, and sometimes you can get a little bit of mildew and compacting of the roots. Uh, with the uh, Mel's mix, you're going to have a much greater production because those uh, roots will start to grow like gangbusters and uh, you're going to just have some really great success that way. So once you've put your uh, beans into the soil, you want to again plant them about maybe about four inches apart. I like to plant mine about two inches from the edge and that way I can use the center section to uh, plant other, other plants. So let's take a look and see what this actually looks like once it's started to really fully grow. So take a look at this plant. It looks as though I've got quite a few plants here, doesn't it? You can see those really nice beans growing in. It's really nice and green and, and lush. Well, I'll tell you what, this is really only one, two, three plants. Only three plants and it could give you just a really remarkable amount of production. So it doesn't take a lot of uh, seeds to actually produce a lot of beans for your family. So as I mentioned earlier, you can see you get a lot of beans all at once uh, when you use this bush type bean. So uh, what you want to do is once you've started to uh, grow, let it, let it begin to grow. You want to pick it fairly regularly. You'll start seeing it flower again immediately after you pick them. Uh, it'll probably go through a couple of those cycles and then it may stop for the summer. So again, one of the things that I like to do is to plant every three weeks. So I'll let this grow, start another row behind it. Once that grows, I can pull some of these out, move those up forward, and then let those grow and cascade over the side as well. So that way I have a regular supply of beans throughout the summer. Uh, this is Romero with Container Garden Club. Hope you've liked this video and uh, see you next time.